Now I'm doing a review on the Coleman Dark Room Technology Four Person Tent. For a long time, they've had this exact same tent, but not with that dark room technology. And what that is is it's totally black on the inside, like no light comes in. It's you may deal. If there's only two or three of you, I wouldn't suggest putting four people in this. Me and my wife were more than comfortable and had ample room, but we were going this way. We were sleeping long ways. You actually can sleep one, two, three, four, but again, it's gonna be tight. Whenever you're talking about tents and they say, hey, it's a 12 person tent, if you divide by two, normally you're gonna be in good shape and you're gonna uh, be very, very comfortable, okay? Me and my wife, Two people, three max, four, you could in a squeeze if you had to. I like the tent. I've never seen anything like it. Because we are camping on hard cement, we have nowhere to put our stakes. And if there was a windstorm last night, it's going to be off into the lake, okay? What we've done is we've got these ginormous water bags from Amazon. They are totally awesome. They're like sandbags, but instead of putting sand in them, you put water in them. And over, and over here, they actually just have all this Velcro. You can see all these beetle bugs. And it has a nice handle. So you can put, I think this is like four or five gallons, and uh, every gallon is eight pounds. So that's 45, 50 pounds. And we only needed to, I felt very, very comfortable putting one on one side and one on the other. Let's look inside the tent. the rain fly. We've already unzipped this, okay? But you don't have to unzip it. And if you wanted to, to see the stars at night, guys, you can lift this up like this. It rolls in and it tucks there. Also with this over here, let me show you this. So let's say you needed some air. You have one of these on each side. It's a screen, but... If it started to rain, you're gonna to have to come outside and you're going to have to clip this. To me, it's no big deal because normally I've looked at the weather channel and here's the thing, I'm not camping in the rain, man. I don't care how waterproof something is. You have Velcro here that fastens this very nicely. So I can put the Velcro here, Velcro here, tuck this under and this actually, and it pulls right here. So this actually is a very unique design and it's going to keep you dry in case you were in a rainstorm. Let's unzip this and I'll show you how dark it is inside. So guys, I am in here right now in the midst of, uh, it's about one o'clock. It's pretty toasty in here. Um, I do have this uh, door unzipped because if not there would be no light in here at all i mean literally there would be this is how it would look it's i mean when you're talking about dark room technology uh it really is dark there is no hole for you to bring an extension cord in here to put a fan um i would have suggested that they made that little pouch with the velcro but they did not that's not a big deal or is air here's what we did we use one of these it has a light on it and it is a fan it's lithium ion technology we had two of these going you don't have to use the light turn the light off but it has four settings it went all night with no problem and i still have 75 percent power it has a hook on the bottom of it so i could hang it up but again this tent doesn't have any place to hang anything other than that pocket the reason that is is they don't want you hitting your head right, my wife no, has just opened up those windows and that just shows you the lake we're right there on the lake we just got finished sleeping but i really wanted to do a review on this this is like a queen size sleeping bag and so it shows you i, I you could literally going from this way to this way, uh, put some people in here. I, let me show you this. I'm six foot tall and my head, okay, I'm six foot tall right here. My head is just to the end of the tent on this side where the pocket is and I have all of that room. That's probably about four feet more of room. So the only time you're gonna have a problem in this tent is if it's raining, cause then you're gonna have to roll down the rain flaps um, but I can't say enough good about this tent. You have a little, that's a mesh at the very top. So it, it does get ample ventilation when the rain flaps are open. If they're not open, uh, you're going to notice some problems. In the morning, the tent got very warm.
I'm gonna shoot straight with you. It, it, we're, we're not covered by trees or anything. And today is 95 degrees. So by nine o'clock, we were like ready to get up. Look at that jet boat. Before it's setting up, it takes three seconds. I mean, no sooner than you pull it out of the bag, there's one strap that goes around it. You undo that strap and it just poofs open. I mean, and it, it's that simple to break you're down. You're putting it up. You first have to unclip your rain fly across the board. And again, it's just a couple pieces of Velcro and some clips here. As we'll grab this in here and we're gonna just accordion fold it. When I get to the middle, I'm gonna throw my rain fly up here because I want my rain fly kind of in the center. So I'm just kind of putting my thumb on the rain fly grab those strings like that you want to make it look like a gigantic burrito like that and then you want to tuck one end under like that so you got to take the burrito and then you're gonna flip the burrito inward, okay? Once you have a burrito, sideways it looks like a burrito, then you have to, it's a little difficult, you twist it into the middle and then push it down. And then you're better if you have a picnic table. It does have a strap around it, and it's not gonna be, it's not gonna be perfect, guys. her in there as you go make sure that you don't pinch anything when you're doing that just tuck 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 okay and there she is guys it takes all of two minutes to put this together it is totally awesome